Hello, this is Reza from Red Acad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can calculate uh, age from a date. It can be birth date, it can be product uh, inventory date, or anything like that. How you can calculate age in Power BI using Power Query. Let's check it out. In Power BI, um, you can calculate age using uh, either Power Query or DAX, but because a lot of people use DAX for many calculations, they are not aware of how easy it is to calculate age in Power Query. Let's see how it is. Um, so in this Power BI solution, I'll go to Transform Data, which will bring Power Query Editor up for me here. And in Power Query Editor, I can do all the transformations. I can click on this column. I select the birth date column, which is a date time column. Then I go to add column tab. Uh, let me zoom in as well so you can see that. Under add columns tab, under the date section, uh, I can go and select age. And that easily bring an age column. But this age doesn't look like an age that you have seen probably in... Uh, other places, uh, this is not uh, an age as years as we know it. This is a specific data type, we call it duration. And it has this particular icon as well, showing that this is a duration data type. Duration data type is four digits, uh, which is as a text with a dot separated from each other, dot and the colon. It's days, uh, hours, minutes, and seconds, right? You can use text functions to separate these, but you don't really need to because there's a there are easier way to separate these values. Uh, one easy way is that when I click on that, I can go to the duration and then I can select, for example, I want number of days, hours, minutes, seconds there. Uh, and there are other options as well. Let's say I select total years and that will bring this in years. So it, in fact, it is the number of days divided by 365, which is uh, almost the number of years. Um, now, no one actually say their uh, age as 53.81, something like that. Uh, you need to round it down. Uh, to avoid adding new columns, I'll go to Transform tab, and I say under Transform tab, I say round it and round it down. And this will round it down. And this is what I can call as a age. Uh, after calculating this, you don't even need this age column. You can remove it. And we can call this one age. Or even from the beginning, you could have used a lot of the transform tab, which would have give you everything transformed in the existing column rather than adding new columns that's the difference between uh, transform tab and add columns tab so here you go we have age column calculated very simply from the birth date column this way of calculation is like pre-calculated through power query at the time of refreshing your data whenever your data set refreshes, this calculation happens again it always compares it with the date and time of the refresh um and uh, another thing about this is that because this is pre-calculated, comparing it with a measure, measure is calculated run time, this would make performance of your report better if you don't need the age to be calculated dynamically. If you need it to be calculated dynamically, you should use the DAX method. I have written uh, an explain explanation about that in another blog article, which you can find the link down in the description below. So here you go, age calculation in Power BI using Power Query. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to your YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of uh, Power BI and AI. Thank you.